Hello and welcome to the Stoic Tarot. My name is Adi. I do tarot and oracle deck walkthroughs and in this video we are taking, taking a look at the Alejandro Colucci Tarot, Tarot 5. I don't know, I'm not sure what this one is called, but we're going to take a look at it. Uh, so I'm opening up the box. You see there's a... I don't know if this is happy and sad or sad and not caring, I don't know, but uh, oh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, it's kind of dark. Hopefully, you can see what's going on here. Pretty cool, colored and uh, not colored. All right, let's see. Box is pretty standard for Los Carbio. Los Carbio, the book is small, performing a tower reading, table of contents. Tarot 5, Tarot V, you awaken suddenly to find yourself trapped within a pine box. You pry at the lid and hinges, fear threatening to overcome your reason. That is when you find it, the small package wrapped in black cloth. Searching within its fold, you find a letter and what seems to be a sort of deck of cards. With trembling hands, you open the letter, somehow able to read its contents despite the lack of any visible light. My child, if you are reading these words... It is my happy duty to inform you that you have died. Dun, dun, dun. Understanding tarot, the structure of a deck, bloodlines and suits, the tarot, the tarot court, performing a reading, the tarot spread, interpretations and meanings, and then we get into the majors and the minors with just a few words on each one. I'm going to go ahead and hold it here in case you want to read how these cards are written out. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. I am going to keep going. Uh, yeah, so you got the majors, the minors, and then you get into other languages as well, I think. Yeah, you got some other language. All right, so we'll set that aside. And now we're gonna get into this deck. Let's see if I can just brute force this plastic, which I cannot. So I'm just going to pull the plastic off. Looks like I might have dented this cover card, but that's okay. Maybe that's what that's for. Let's set that aside. Uh, so you've got a title card, which I've just kind of bent a little bit out of shape. That's okay. And then at the back, you've got uh, a, a info card on Los Carbio. And then we got the, the, the deck. So we're just going to go ahead and start flipping through. I feel a little claustrophobic in here. Let's see. Hopefully it's not too dark and you can see these colors. The back of the cards has a kind of a bloody... Reminds me a little bit of Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's got that vibe. And that little blurb I read made me feel like I was getting introduced to a D&D campaign. It was a cool little storytelling there. And yeah, let's see if I can keep this in, in the frame. I have a tendency to start pulling the cards toward myself as I'm flipping through so I can get a better look. Hopefully you can hear me alright. Hopefully you can see these cards alright. And I changed my setup a little bit. I, I migrated to a different part of the house. I am now in the living room. I used to film in kind of like a vestibule, so requires getting a little, uh, a little acquainted with the new setup, sort of. But I did film myself doing this whole setup, and I am happy to report that I do plan to start a separate YouTube channel where I do some vlogging and I share some life hacks, things like that, and so one of the first videos I'll be sharing on that channel is actually how I film these videos, and I will link to that once it's up. Just gonna be simple stuff, basically. Um, morning routine, how I film, stuff like that. Anything I think might be helpful to others, I'm going to film it and share it so that others may prosper. The cards are pretty thick, a uh, nice heavy weight. Um, 
You can hear they're kind of stuck together. They're glossy. And they're drying on my fingers. I think I'm getting little micro cuts on my thumb from these, from unsticking them. Oops, two cards there. And let's see if I can just unstick some of these right now. Alright, hopefully it should be easier. Mm, this reminds me of uh, an episode of Cabinet of Curiosities. Curiosities, it's a show, I think it's on Netflix, by Benicio Del Toro. If you like horror, check it out. this one. I like this a lot actually. Hmm, this is cool. I like this deck. I don't know that I would necessarily use it as a as a divination deck. I don't think that the uh art doesn't necessarily speak to me for tarot readings personally as much as I love horror and I love the imagery on these decks and all the things it uh, it gives me like movie vibes and, and TV show vibes and I think I need something more abstract for my personal uh, meditative uh, success, I guess, or... Mm, a little uh, Nosferatu or Bram Stoker's Dracula. Pretty cool. I mentioned in other videos, um, of which I have many, by the way, I have a whole YouTube channel full of tarot videos, but I've mentioned in other videos that I prefer cards that don't have human faces on them. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this deck a lot. I think, I think, uh, the art is really nice. And now we're going to do a quick comparison against a normal, uh, against the traditional writer deck, just for size comparison and, uh, a little bit of a reference point. So you see these cards are much thicker, but in terms of height and width, they're virtually the same. And that's it. That's the whole video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, it tells you the YouTube algorithm that it's a good video and uh, it helps my channel. Thank you for everything. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you again soon. Bye.